everybody, Jen Games here, and we are back today to build that goat enclosure for the goats we got last episode. Um, I think what we'll do is we will go right into the sped up view of me building the enclosure for the goats, and then uh, afterwards we'll spend a little time with the animals, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll do some zoo maintenance and management and just see how things kind of flow and then if we need to make some adjustments we can so i think i think that's all we need to do for now actually let's go ahead and go into the game real quick because i want to see i think when we got the goats were we able to get what we needed i'm not sure let's check All right, here we go. So if we look at animal trading, I think we went ahead and put them into quarantine, didn't we? Let's see what's in quarantine. Yeah, so we had two, we had two females. We couldn't get any males. Let's, before we get into the, ooh. See, we have enough conservation credits to get him. He's rated a little better, but his longevity is not great. I think we'll get go ahead and adopt Mark. Mark the goat. And let's put him in here. Okay. Yeah, see, I knew... I thought we needed a, a male. Cool. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and... See how, how's everything else? Oops, sorry about that. How's everything else going? Yep, the goats were ready to go to their habitat. We need to keep our hut. We'll do that when we build the enclosure. I think we'll have our goat enclosure over here. As you come into the zoo, that will be the first animal that, that the guests will be able to come and view. And I think that'll be cute. Maybe I can build them a little build a little mountain here or something that they can climb on. So let's do that. All right. So now what I'm doing is I am going to increase the path a little bit. And then I wanted to check how big I need my enclosure to be for the goats. Cause I want to try to have a good group, a good size group. So maybe 12 to 15. So I built my gate over here, my habitat gate, thinking that I might have the keeper hut on this side. But after this sped up build session, um, you'll see where I end up putting it. But I went with this wood fence because I thought it was appropriate. And at this point, I'm not really thinking about putting it or setting it up so that guests can walk through it. Although after after this setup or after this build, I, I do talk about that. So there's there's options for the future. Um, and I decided to make this a little bigger in the back because I want to have like a, a rock face. I may end up building, I was thinking about building like a mountain or something behind it, maybe adjusting the terrain so that it's a little bit more like built into a mountain. I thought that might be fun. I wanted to add the water feature so that they would have water to drink. And I started, I put this in and then I was like, you know, I think that might be too big. So then I spent a good few minutes backing all of that out and going with this. Um, and I, I just realized, I think I put dirt in there instead of rock. And these goats definitely like rock. Uh, so I, I pulled up the habitat items for the alpine goat and I all we have now is like feeding and you know I looked at the heater there I don't know that we're gonna need it but um, I put the heater I'm sorry <laughs> I put the food uh, tray in and then I didn't put a water sp uh, spout in because we have the built-in water and now I'm gonna start building their hard shelter they're gonna require hard shelter something 
keep them covered when it rains, when it snows. And so I use some rocks to do that. And this is just kind of the beginning. Like I said, I I'm thinking it might be kind of cool to, you know, build this up into a mountain behind this enclosure. And this way it it'll make more sense. Right now there's just random rocks there with a, with a covering over it. Um, but I got to get used to the hotkeys for building because that would be a lot easier than clicking all the time. Um, I still, after all this time playing this game, I still haven't memorized all the, the, the what do they call them? The hotkeys, the, the shortcuts, I guess. So, and this is my favorite rock to use to build a roof <laughs> over the top of an enclosure. So. I just use this same rock over and over again in different positions just to to extend the top out so they'd have some hard shelter. So I'm just positioning this rock over this kind of support beam I created and then um, looking at how I can use that same rock and extend it out a little more. And I kind of like how it ended up. Um, you know, again, I say this over and over again, but we can change it. We can always change it. But I definitely, the more I'm looking at this, the more I think I want to turn that area behind it into some sort of mountain. I think that'll look a lot better. And yeah, so, and I think in the next uh, episode, I might make this a walkthrough exhibit. I might even extend it and, you know, so that the guests can kind of walk walk through and have maybe a place to sit, maybe on the other side, outside of the actual habitat, there'll be some like food stalls or some drink stalls, depending on if we get our research done. So um, yeah, I think that's something I'll work on next. And then just putting down some bedding for our animals. And here I thought I would lower the fence so that our guests can see it in a little better. I think I think it only needed to be like four feet tall, so I dropped it down and then extended the rock wall around to the side uh, just to make it look a little better. Here, um, and just using some of the same rocks I'd already used uh, to make that happen. And now, um, I'm just kind of looking again to see if there's anything else I need to add uh, other than some nature. So this is where I add in a few plants that I think the goats would like. Some, uh, I think this is thistle or nettle, nettle. And then a couple of trees and threw some on the rocks. I don't know if those plants go on the rocks. So if they don't, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll move them. I'll move them. Um, and then I'm trying to decide what tree I want to use and I, I don't want anything too overbearing. So I think I settled on something that looks really good. Yeah. And now back to uh, regular speed. We're back and I, I realized after I built this that I could have, I didn't make it a walkthrough habitat for the guests to walk through. Um, but I wanted to see how the animals liked the area first. And then we can always, I thought that maybe we could uh, add a path through here, you know, that maybe cuts through or winds through here just so they can interact with the goats once they're in their habitat. But um, this is what I came up with. I put a little hard shelter over here. I don't even know if these plants are going to work and I won't know until the animal gets in there, but I want to push play so time can start moving. I added this little water feature here so they'd have water to drink. And one thing I want to check is I need to put down a water treatment plant. I think I'm going to put it over here. Uh, now the water treatment, the cool thing with that is you can, as long as your body of water is somewhere in like the range of the, the of the, water treatment facility or water rate, whatever it is, I can't remember what it's called, uh, then, then it will be covered and that will keep the water clean for the animals. So I think I'm going to put that over here, kind of somewhere, somewhere over here, maybe back. Mm, 
I want it out of the way. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's just stick it there for now. I can always move it. And then we need to connect a staff path to it, um, which I will do from, from over here. I think that'll be easiest. And maybe, yeah, staff path. I don't know what's happening here. I know I can make this longer. I'm doing it the hard way, but it's fine. Why? There you go. Ah, quarantine has passed. Animal's ready to leave. What is happening with this? Is it... That's weird. I don't know. I'll mess with it later. All right. So now this this um, facility has no power. It's part of the problem. Let me go ahead and put a, a generator in too, because we'll, we'll definitely need that. It's not really called a generator. I like to call it a generator. I don't know why. It's a transformer. Uh, let's select that group, and we can just add it to that group, and then connect the paths. Now our water regulator, water treatment. What's it called? Water treatment. <laughs> Gosh, uh, facility is connected to power, which means this is now protected. And we will have no issues with this water here being treated. So if we click on water, you can see that it's within the range and we are good to go. Another thing I'm going to add right over here, since we're thinking about it, I had mentioned it before, but we need a keeper hut for the animals. I'll just put that over here. Actually, no, because the entry to the habitat is way over here. Eh, it'll be fine. I may end up moving the, the habitat entrance to this side, but for now we'll just, whoops, for now we'll just, uh, we'll just put it over here. Okay, and we'll connect that to the same staff path. Awesome. I think one other thing we definitely need to do is adjust our work zone because now we've added the, the habitat and all these other buildings. So there, that's added. Perfect. And one more thing. I thought I changed this in the beginning, but maybe not. I don't want it, you know, super late at night when the park closes. So I'm going to set it to 2100 hours. Um, ish. Yeah, there we go. There. That way it's not like, at least right now, that way it's not nighttime. All right. So our animals are ready to leave quarantine, which means we can come over here, select all of them and go ahead and move them into their new habitat. And while we're doing that, we need to hire some more staff. We need keepers. We don't have any. So now that we have animals, we need a couple of keepers. And we might as well go ahead and get our security because now that we have animals, guests are going to start coming into the park. And so while we wait for that and wait for the animals to get put in place, another thing I want to put down are ATM machines because guests are going to need money to... Use the vending machines. So there we go. Oh, there they go. Oh, they went right for the... They went right for the... Um, their bedding. Oh my gosh, you're cute. Oh, here come the rest. There they are. Mark, Elodie, and Cappuccine. So first thing I want to look at is their terrain. They don't like the terrain. There's way too much long grass, not enough rock. They do like rock, so that's cool. So we're going to add some more rocky. We can just take care of that real quick. Let's get this sorted out for them. The space is definitely too big, which is fine, but we're going to be adding more goats to the mix here. 
So let's add some rock. I hear them. Oh, it's snowing. Wonderful. Make this grassy. Um, one thing I do know is it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think they're going to like that very much. Let's see. We may have to put in heaters. Eh, no, they might be okay. 19 to 109, they might be okay. So, let's see. So, it seems like they're not bothered by the temperature. So, let's go back to fixing the terrain. Um, yeah, see, they don't mind the snow. But we need to have more short grass, so let's let's put that in. I'll just go over here to the terrain painter and just, you know, make this a little larger. They really don't seem to like the long grass. <laughs> uh. And then they definitely want some more rock. So let's fix that. I had some over here, but it's really hard to see when it's snowing, you know? That's along here. Listen to them. They are so cute. I love their little, the little beard. <laughs> All right, let's put a little more rock over here to surround this. Oh, well, maybe not around that. Let's just put a little soil around that. There. Uh, yeah, so they're not really happy yet. I'm going to see if we add actual rocks, if that helps. Uh, so let me put biome to grit, continent, Europe. I'm doing Europe because that's where they're from. So, you know, I can, I can put some rocks down here. You know, just something for them to... I don't think they can escape. Now that I think about that, I should probably look. See if things change. Ah, see how it's adjusting now that the snow's gone away? There's still too much long grass. Uh, we can do with some more rocks. So let's do some terrain painting. Just put some rock over here. There. So now they're, they're pretty happy with that. Uh, they could use some more plants, so we'll we'll add some plants as we go on. And obviously they need enrichment. So on that note, that reminds me of something else I want to do. We need to do our vet research and we'll get somebody to start researching our goats so that we can start getting them their enrichment items, which are like their toys. And our guests are here and they are checking them out. Now, another thing we didn't do, of course, is put down donation bins. I definitely need to do that so that we can make some money. Uh, let's change the color of these. What do we think? Maybe like something like that or that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Put a couple of them up. One here, one down here. And then we need our education boards. This way, they can learn a little bit about our goats. Let's see. We want to align it to the surface. Education is part of this game. You know, we want our guests educated on the animal that they're looking at. So all we got to do is select the alpine goat. That is upside down. This one probably is too. Yep. Okay. 
Well, we can fix that pretty easily. Of course, I put them, put them, put them in upside down. There we go. And then we can add one more right here in the middle, I guess. Somewhere. It's fine. And one other thing I want to add is the education speaker. Put a couple of these up. This will give the guests some educational content. Get closer, you might be able to hear it a little bit. I mean, it's speaking gibberish, but let's increase the range of that to something like that, and we'll get another one. Uh, maybe about here. And we can increase the range of that one also. Should I make this one a little bigger? All right, that was a lot. So let's see what the guests are start are thinking. Well, that's a child. Let's see what this guest thinks. I wish I could have stayed longer. Okay, so when they say that, that means they want a place to sit. <laughs> so we need beds. See, this is what happens. There's a lot that happens. This is what this is what happens when you're when you play this game. There's a lot that goes on. A lot of maintenance. A lot of. Um, Management. Oh, that's kind of cool. Education screen with speaker. I didn't even realize I downloaded that. Okay. So let's get some benches in here. Uh, I believe it's under facilities. Let's type bench. We'll put them maybe over here. Oh, and another thing we need are trash bins. Otherwise, our guests will leave trash everywhere. And we have none yet, so... Let's do that too. Right now, all we can get are the basic Planet Zoo bins. Once we uh, research some of these other, uh, I guess you can go there. I really don't want you in the path, so let's move you here. Let's put a couple. Let's put one by the bathroom, and let's get some over here. That should prevent people from, you know, throwing trash all over the ground. And another thing that's going to, that I want to do is with the path, I'll be reducing the size of it, but because this is the entryway, I like it to be really large so that the groups don't get so clogged in one place. So this is, this is kind of a good start. Um, We're not making money yet, but our guests are happy. So that says something. And we have 149 guests right now. So let's see. And as we look at our goats, happiness needs, etc., they definitely need food enrichment and toy enrichment. So, you know, that's something that we have to research. So as time goes on, we will research it. We can follow around. Elodie and see what she thinks of her new home. I think she's going to go lay down over here. At some point, too, we're going to add... We got some research complete. Drink shops. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, what else are we researching? I forgot. Oh, the power. Yeah. See, I want to be able to get solar panels. I really like using solar panels. Our keeper came in and cleaned up the mess. That's awesome. Cappuccine. <laughs> Listen to them. So one other thing we can do if we want to start thinking about our next animal is we can take out a loan to build the next enclosure. Um, do we want to do that? Or do we want to, you know, see how we go with our goats? I'm, out, I'm almost thinking I should start thinking about 
making it so that our guests can go through here and, and actually interact with the, the goats, but... I don't know. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. This, I don't like this, but hey, I needed some extra rock. I might add some rocks over here too. We can always build on to this and make it more of what we're looking for. Make it, make it more suited to our animals. So far, they like the plants I have in here. That was something else I wanted to check. So that's a good thing. Uh, I want to see, is there anything I can put like a... Some sort of, what am I thinking? Not a nettle, but reeds or something I can put around here. I guess not. Um, she does like grassland too. What other, maybe there's something we can use. Temperate. Desert and... These are the four zones. Maybe there's maybe there is some kind of reed we can put in the water there. I just want something around the water. Labrador tea. Yeah, I don't see anything. What's that? A hosta. I know I don't think these are no. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. these. These would work, but it's not what I'm looking for. All right, well, that's something we can think about later. Oh, he's swimming. She's swimming. <laughs> they make a mess, I can see. They make a lot of a mess. Either that or that's rocks. I can't tell. No, I don't, I don't think it's rocks. Oh, maybe it is. It is rocks. I thought they uh, did their business in the water there, but I guess not. We have some vet research complete, so let's see. Can we do anything with that? Uh, oh, we have a food enrichment that opened up. Let's check it out. Let's go to our species. Alpine goat. And... What do we have? Do we have any toy enrichment yet? No. But we have a grazing ball feeder. They might like that. So we'll put that down. And we'll put down an herb scent marker. There. Sure. See how that improved their happiness. Oh yeah, look at... So now they have a toy enrichment and a food enrichment. They're pretty happy with that. Perfect. More mechanic research completed. So I guess we can start looking into doing some So we have yeah, see we have the drink shops opening up now. Pip shot water, gulpy soda, gulpy slush. Perfect. We can add proper shops now too. But we're, <laughs> we're losing a little bit of money. So I think what we need to do Let's see what guests think of the price of the ticket. We might need to increase it. See, zoo ticket price is great. Let's increase it. <laughs> Let's put it up to ooh, not that much. Five? Five across the board. And we'll wait for some new people to come in and see if they think that's too much. There. There. Uh, maybe we need to drop it down just a touch. We want them to think it's... Oops, that's too low. Four is good. Let's go to four. Hey, oh, that's an employee. He's going to clean up the habitat. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here comes some people. Do take a price is good. Okay, that's what we want. Let's leave it there. See if we can make a little extra money. Um, okay. So I think I think that's where we're gonna leave it for 
today for this episode. Um, we have our goats in place. We have our, I believe that's our vet. Yep, that's our vet coming to check on the goats. What's wrong with you? I haven't had a minute to myself. Oh, the barrier needs repairs. Let's look at this. Uh, yeah, see, so we can, oh, no, we don't need the vet. Cancel. We need the mechanic. Let's get the mechanic out there to fix the barrier. And I think we might need to hire some more staff. Right? Can't get anything done. Who was it that couldn't get anything done? High workload. I have two vets. I'm not sure why one vet is doing all the work, but yeah, I don't know. That'll be something to look at in the next episode when we spend some time managing, working on this front entrance, making it look a little better. Maybe we'll take out a loan to do that and then get our next animal in. Let me know in the comments some ideas for the next animal that you think we should add to the zoo. And until next time, have a good one, and we will meet again soon. Bye.